just when you were neither expecting it or needed. Complete operating system failure on your PC. So what now? Welcome to PC Support TV, I'm Mike Halsey. It's the one thing we all fear the most when using our PCs. The operating system fails to load and you get the dreaded blue screen of death when you start your PC or perhaps even worse, you get nothing at all. All is not lost though because it's easier to get Windows 8 working again than it's ever been. You just need to be prepared. So in this program I'll show you how to do this and also how you can rescue Windows yourself without needing to pay someone else to do it for you. When you buy a new PC, it will already come with a system rescue image on board. Indeed, if you've installed Windows 8 yourself, it will automatically create a rescue image, something that no version of Windows has done before. You may also find that when you purchase a new PC, it will have a software utility pre-installed that lets you create a backup copy of this rescue image. You should definitely do this, as it's probably the most useful thing you can do to stave off disaster. Let's have a look then at how you can create a Windows recovery drive. You'll need a USB flash drive, and if your computer came with a system backup image that was provided with it, and you can get a flash drive of 4 gigabytes in size or larger, you can also keep a full copy of the Windows backup on there too. At the start screen, search for recovery, and in the search results, you'll see an option to create a recovery drive. Click this and then click through the security prompt that appears. With the USB flash drive plugged into your PC, just click Next to create the drive. It really is that simple. If your PC was provided with a system backup image when you purchased it, you'll also be able to check a box to copy the recovery partition from the PC to the recovery drive. This is well worth doing as it gives you another option when restoring Windows. This recovery image will restore your PC to the state it was in when you first started using it. But if you've installed desktop software and apps, you can create a custom recovery image on your PC too that includes those. This can't be copied to a recovery drive, so keep one of those handy just in case, but it can save time with reinstalling software. To create a custom recovery image, search for Command at the start screen. And when it appears in the search results, right click on it, you can touch and hold for a second with your finger too and select run as administrator from the options that appear. Then click through the security prompt. In the command window type the following commands. This first command creates a folder on your hard disk for the custom image. Press enter to create the folder. And this second command creates the image itself. Press enter to start the image creation process. This might take some time depending on how many apps are installed on your PC. So let's have a look at how you can restore this backup image. If you can get into PC settings, because perhaps Windows is working but badly misbehaving, then visit Update and Recovery. Then click Recovery, and lastly click Get Started in the section Refresh Your PC without affecting your files. This will begin the process of repairing your computer. It's entirely possible that you need to restore your backup copy of Windows because Windows itself won't start at all. And this is when you need your recovery drive. Now you'll need this plugged into the computer when the computer is off. And just after you turn the computer on, you'll press a key on your keyboard. It might be Escape, it might be F12, although this can vary from one computer to another. So check the documentation that came with your PC and this will allow you to get into the recovery options. 
You can also start your computer from a Windows 8 installation DVD if you have one and when you get to the install screen instead of pressing install click the repair your computer link which you'll see in the bottom left hand corner. Lastly if you're starting a tablet such as a Microsoft Surface then hold down the volume down key when you turn the tablet on to enter the recovery options and again this can vary from one tablet to another so check the documentation that came with your machine. Once you're in the Windows recovery environment you may see a link to use a device. If you want to restore an image that you have copied onto the recovery drive click this and choose your USB flash drive from the options that appear. The next thing to do is to click troubleshoot at which point you'll see an option to refresh your PC. Clicking this will restore the backup image, either that's copied onto the recovery drive or that's already on your PC. It'll do this without affecting any of your files or user accounts, though it's obviously worth mentioning at this point that keeping an up-to-date backup copy of your files, photographs and videos is probably the most important thing you can do, and check out my Windows 8.1 file history video to see how easy this is to do. So there's one last thing to tackle here, and that's what you can do if you've not created a recovery drive and don't have a Windows installation DVD to start your computer from. All is not lost here, but you'll need another PC with either a DVD burner or a copy of Microsoft's USB image burner software. And you can click a link on your screen now to download a copy of this. Head to Microsoft's TechNet Evaluation Center website at technet.microsoft.com in your browser and then click on the Downloads link. This will take you to a place where you can download a test version of the Enterprise Edition of Windows 8.1. You'll need to know if your PC is running the 64-bit or 32-bit copy of Windows but as a general rule, only older PCs that originally came with Windows XP or Vista will be running the 32-bit version of Windows. This will download an image that, while you can't use it to reinstall Windows, you can burn it to a DVD and use it to start your computer into the Refresh Your Operating System options. So that's how you can create recovery media for your PC, why it's important to do so, and how you can use it to get your copy of Windows working if something goes badly wrong and it won't start. I hope you found this program helpful, and I hope you'll join me next time. But for now, from me, Mike Halsey, thank you for watching.